calling the Bristol 2 meter net, calling the Bristol 2 meter net. This is N4NT, November 4, November Tango. My name is Adam, and I will be the net control station for this session. Uh, is there anyone that can serve as an alternate net control station? KT4RSQ. Net recognizes uh, KT4RSQ. Steven, thank you. I'll go ahead and put you on the check-in list. Uh, come back to you for that as well later. Okay, is there any emergency or priority traffic? The Bristol 2-meter net meets each Tuesday at 9 p.m. on the 146.67 repeater. This net is affiliated with the Amateur Radio Emergency Service, the National Traffic System, and the Bristol Amateur Radio Club. All amateurs are welcome to check into the net. Are there any announcements or bulletins for the net? Please call now. Is there any formal or informal traffic for the net? Okay, are there any mobile or portable stations that would like to check in with or without traffic? Please call. WE4AWJ, Emmett and Bristol. be in and out uh, tonight, Adam. I'll be listening. KD4 UQI, Richard, check me in out if you will, please, sir. I, I missed the first part of your call. If you could give me that again, please. Okay, it's Kilo Charlie 4. Kilo Charlie 4. Okay, got you that time. Uh, okay, net recognizes uh, I've got KT4 RSQ, uh, WE4 AWJ, uh, W4 JH, Jack, got you in and out, KD4 UQY, have you in and out, and uh, KC4LJM, have you in and out. Any other uh, mobile or portable stations like to check in? Okay, let's go back up for some uh, for some comments. Uh, KT4RSQ, uh, good evening, Stephen. Here is KT4 RSQ. Not much going on this end. Uh, <laughs> dealt with a little bit of flooding issues today uh, in two locations actually. My house uh, had a little bit of water issue, and then uh, I dealt with another property that was flooding today. So had an interesting day today and got a little wet. Uh, I guess all the rain over the past uh, couple of days has just uh, proven to be too much. Well, with that, I'll say 73 to everyone on the net and turn it back over to you, Net Control. Here is KT4 RSQ. Okay, Stephen, yeah, I certainly understand that. I got an issue with some guttering that uh, I couldn't do much about today because I was working. Uh, it's one of those situations, if I let it go, it could cause some problems, but uh, for the day or so, it, it'll be okay. So hopefully, I'll get around to it tomorrow if the, the rain doesn't keep me from it. All right, up next we have uh, WE4AWJ, Emmett. Uh, good evening, Emmett. Good evening, Adam, and everybody on the net, and everybody listening. This is WE4AWJ. Well, uh, yes, it's rained a lot. It's supposed to get cold tonight. Uh, a lot colder than you, you think. I hope the roads dry before it freezes. And uh, the HF bands are up and down. Mostly down. 
There's some gray line activity on 20 real early in the morning, but it uh, drops out pretty fast. Other than that, uh, hope everybody has a good week and uh, take care. Well, so we'll send it back to Net Control. This is WE4AWJ. Okay, Emmett, appreciate you checking in with us tonight, and uh, thanks again for taking that uh, chaplain position. Uh, I was there the other night at the, the meeting. It uh, certainly means a lot, and we're, we're glad to have you. Uh, all right, that, uh, with our in and outs, that brings us to the uh, bottom of the check-in list. Uh, this time, we'll now take regular check-ins. Uh, any station wishing to check-in, please call now. WD4JJ, Jim in Bristol. Here tonight. This is the largest one I've heard there for a while. 
But anyhow, all of you take care and try to stay dry. Yeah, you know, the water, well, you're talking about leaks. I've got a leak in the roof, too, if it rains real hard. I've got a uh, drain pipe or a uh, vent pipe that's uh, got a boot on it that's leaking. I thought I had it fixed, but uh, still dripping just a little bit if it, uh, it comes to a gully horse or something like that. But no, nothing happened today. Uh, someday when it dries up and warms up, we'll get back up there and put the old black stuff to it again. Other than that, back to that, it's, uh, and try to stay dry and warm, as I uh, guess you'd say. M4ND, W4JJ. Okay, Jim, certainly glad to have you checking in tonight. And, uh, yeah, I understand those water problems, the dealing with a uh, few myself there in the basement and in the, the guttering issues I've got. But uh, judging by the temperature, I might have opportunity to get it fixed. Now, I don't know if the rain will hold off enough to let me do it, but the uh, temperature looks like it's going to be decent for that. All right, next up we've got uh, KT40. Ben, good evening, Ben. Yeah, good evening, uh, Adam, everybody on the net. Uh, Impact KT40. Yeah, good to hear everybody. Uh, looks like the, some of the rain kind of eased off a little bit when I came in a few minutes ago, so uh, uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we've got, I uh, was going to let everybody know, uh, we had 10 people come test after the meeting on uh, Thursday night, or after the meeting, and uh, had seven people either uh, upgrade or get to uh, get some licenses. Uh, matter of fact, uh, we actually had two new licenses. The other five were all upgrades, so uh, uh, all those ended up uh, getting posted uh, to the FCC website yesterday. So if you're some of the new folks on, welcome them, and uh, uh, I know they'll be, uh, be glad to chat with you. So, anyway, it's about all I've got, and uh, thanks for running with that tonight, Adam. Have a good evening. 4 nt kt 4 Okay, Ben. Uh, appreciate you checking in and appreciate the info there. Congratulations to uh, the new licensees and upgrades. Uh, if any of them are on frequency or listening, uh, certainly uh, proud to have you as part of the hobby. Uh, up next, uh, KD4 CCO, Dallas and Bristol. Uh, good evening, Dallas. Well, good evening, everybody on the net. I've been busy this afternoon trying to figure, trying to straighten out a an error caused by the FCC. Uh, our the the Marion Club or the uh, Smith County Club, which is the Mountain Empire Amateur Radio Society, we tested back on January 17th, and we waited and we waited, waited for the for the call signs to be issued for, for the new people and the upgrades for the existing hams, and it just wasn't showing up. We tested in on uh, last week at the Bristol Club, and they got their call signs almost within well within a couple of days. So I knew something was wrong somewhere. So I contacted Billy Stewart with W4VEC, and he got on a stick. In fact, in, within a matter of probably an hour, we had it all straightened out. New call signs issued, and everything's in good shape now. So it, it pays to have friends in high places, <laughs> I guess you could say. I guess that's about it. I'm sure everybody's heard, knows about the rain and the flooding. Uh, so stay dry, and we'll talk to you later. This is KD4 or CCO. Okay, Dallas, appreciate you checking in and uh, that information there. I was certainly glad to have... Uh, have both groups doing the testing uh, the way that they do because I know uh, when I was especially when I was working on extra I, I passed tech in general the first time when I was working on extra I took that test several times and uh, I can imagine what it would have been like to have to had to wait a few months or, or what have you to go from one session to the other and you know at least in this region we've got uh, got a couple close together so if you if you get really close and want to try it again you've got to uh, alternative there, you can uh, you can get it twice in one month and give it a try. All right, up next on the list, um, got Ralph and Chill Howie in in four XRD. Good evening, Ralph. Good evening, Adam. N four NT in the group. This is N four XRD. Good to hear everybody on there. Some familiar calls and uh, some I've not heard before. I'm still a young ham myself. 
still haven't completed my first year, but it's been a good time and I've enjoyed it all. My comment about the weather here is we were leaving to head into town this morning. Uh, there was a pond of water in the front yard. It looks like it's kind of more or less permanent now. The dry run was running full bank, bank and had the culvert full. The lower field looked like a swamp and it's going to stay that way a while. But the real final sign was we went down the road a little ways. There were six ducks walking up the road because there was so much water. Anyway, back to net. Okay, Ralph, appreciate you checking in. Yeah, we had a little bit of sunshine in Bristol today, but it uh, it seemed like every time I had to be out of the car today, it was raining. So that, that's usually how it goes. All right, uh, up next on the list here, uh, we've got Danny, K4DHT. Uh, good evening, Danny. Good evening, Adam. Everybody on the, on the net, it's K4DHT. Danny here in Mountain City. Yeah, I think maybe I... You know, I'm looking at the weather map, and all looks like it's already blown past us. We did get a lot of rain last night and today, though. Creeks are pretty high, but the uh, weather forecast that I'm looking at for Johnson County says we're supposed to get rain and snow tonight, and on and on and on, and uh, I don't see any weather coming this way, so we'll just have to see, but that's the way that goes. But anyway, I thought I'd check in and say hello to everybody, and I'll get on out of the way and uh, let you carry on, Adam. You're doing a good job. I enjoy getting those emails from you. Thank you. It's Skateboard DHT. Okay, Danny, this is N4NT. Uh, yeah, good to have you checking in tonight, and I uh, appreciate the, the feedback on that. It's uh, good good to know uh, that uh, the words words getting out on, on things. I, I hope that's uh, contributing to, to more check-ins on the net and, and that sort of thing. It's definitely the, the goal we shoot for there. All right, up next, uh, we've got Chad in Johnson City, KM4JNR. Good evening, Chad. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good tonight. I just uh, don't have anything much. Just keep up the good work, y'all. Seems like you have more and more check-ins every month, or every time you do the, the net. So uh, have a good night. And it's, uh, it's starting to draw up here in Johnson City a little bit. KM4JNR, clear. Okay, Chad. Uh, yeah, good to have you there tonight. I think this is the first time we've actually got to make a, a voice contact. I know we got that FT8 contact, but uh, to uh, my best uh, recollection, I think this is the first time we've communicated uh, uh, voice there. But uh, for the, those that uh, don't know, I met Chad. He was my uh, mental health first aid instructor, a class I had to take to be a uh, as part of being a um, crisis negotiator at work is one of the reasons they put me through that class so, and, and it was a good one but uh, appreciate you checking in tonight chad good to hear from you all right k4xmn was in and out uh, claude w4fkm good evening claude Sorry, I think my HT is dying. Yeah, uh, N4NT, W4FKM. Uh, Adam, yeah, I haven't checked in in a while, but uh, the wife and I have been busy going to doctor's appointments and stuff like that, so been a little bit busy. Most of the time when I'm on, it's 80 and 40 CW. And uh, Dallas brought up a, an, a, an issue, I think, with uh, FCC call signs. A couple of days after uh, Christmas, I... Uh, applied for my old novice call sign WN4FKM, which I got on uh, February the 6th, 1962, and I wanted that back to use with a group I've joined recently, the Novice Rig Roundup, and it's just a bunch of us old guys getting together and running the old boat anchor stuff and having fun and swapping stories, and anybody can join in. You don't have to have old rig or anything, but... Uh, it'll be interesting when I use it. I haven't uh, sent or heard that call uh, since 62, so uh, quite a trip down memory lane, I guess. But I keep working CW, hoping it'll keep some brain cells uh, going on. Back to you, Adam. This is N4NT. Uh, yeah, I appreciate, the, appreciate you checking in. 
in the information cloud and uh, I've been working on compiling a list of, uh, of nets. Uh, I've got one for the regional nets. Most, I call it mostly complete because I'm sure there's some that I'm missing that we can, we're definitely within range of that I put on the Facebook page, but I'm, uh, I want to start a second one for special interest nets that kind of go outside the region and that kind of thing, but uh, yeah, we'd certainly be glad to include uh, any information like that on there and uh, put uh, Kind of, kind of help you advertise it to the amateur community. So just uh, shoot me a message sometime when you get a chance, and I can, I can add it in there. All right, the WJ1T was in and out, so that brings us to the bottom of the current check-in list. We'll, uh, we'll open it up for additional check-ins. Any other station like to check-in? Please call now. KN4JHW. Okay, net recognizes KN4JHW, uh, Powell and Bluntville. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and come back to, or go to you uh, if you want. If you have any comments, go ahead. I don't have any comments. I just I almost forgot what time that it was to come in here to get on. So this is the first time I've tried, and I'm glad that I got on. I have to keep tuning in on you. Okay, well, we're certainly glad that you uh, that you made it in there tonight. Uh, good to hear you. Um, I think I may have met you at the club meeting, but uh, first uh, on-air contact. So uh, glad to, glad to hear you there. Appreciate you checking in tonight. All right, are there any uh, other stations that would like to check in? Please call. K4 UTN Mobile. Stranger, uh, I've uh, I've seen you in person quite a bit lately, but uh, it has been a month of Sundays, as they say, since we've talked on the air. Uh, Chick, good to have you checking in, and since we're down down close to the end here, we'll just go ahead and acknowledge you if uh, if you have any comments. Go ahead. Uh, no, no real comments. I just uh, coming home from the church council meeting, just got in on the tail end of the net, and just had to jump in there and say hey to everybody. It looks like the uh, Rain clouds are kind of breaking up, so uh, the cold front is coming up on us. They're going to say chilly weather starting tonight. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I don't know, I was looking at my phone app, and it, uh, yeah, it shows a little higher temperatures on the weekend, but I don't know. It, it, they uh, They don't really know completely what's going to happen and the whole uh, groundhog thing and all that you just never know if that works out but uh, hopefully uh, hopefully the groundhog was right this year though <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one uh, good to have you checking in with us tonight chick uh, is there any other stations that would like to check in wb4jmw walk and limestone Okay, we've got uh, w WB4JMW, Walt. Uh, good evening, Walt, if you want to go ahead with comments. Yeah, okay. Uh, just about missed it there, Adam. Uh, I'm, like everybody else, uh, rain and, and uh, having flooding and all that stuff, so uh, <laughs> just, just happened to, to come up here just in time to check in. And so uh, thanks for letting me check in, WB4JMW. Okay, Walt, well, certainly uh, good to have you checking in again with us tonight, and that's a real good signal in the repeater from, from Limestone from Greene County there. Okay, uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed I get at least one more because that will even out the list really good. So I'm going to put out another call for check-ins. Any other station like to check in, please call. KT4RSQ for recheck. Okay, Stephen, go ahead. I'll give you one more. Uh, Gary, N4KZS, has to be checked in by proxy on Facebook. Okay, uh, 
Okay, I appreciate that. Sounds good. We recognize N4 KZS. We'll put him as an in and out check in by proxy. Um, good to have you checking in with us there. I know he's messaged me before in the past, but I've, I'm not really monitoring anything because of doing net control. But uh, good to have you, Gary. I, I know I know he can hear us. Um, all right, is there uh, any other stations that would like to check in? Okay, does anyone have anything else for the net uh, before we close? Okay, just a quick reminder for me, uh, we'll have another uh, 10 meter net. Um, um, the I don't have the date in front of me, it's the Friday, it'll be the Friday after the club meeting. Um, We'll have that uh, have that scheduled. Um, I would like to look at expanding that and maybe uh, looking at some other bands, but try to keep it as far as uh, where uh, where all licensed classes can check in. I'm actually going to order the FT991 today, and I'll have six meter capability. So we might we might bring up on the Facebook page of possibility of uh, bouncing that around and changing it up and see what everybody thinks. But anyway. Uh, Appreciate everybody that checked in tonight. We have had a total number of 20 check-ins this evening, which is uh, probably a, a modern-day record anyway. Um, recent day, let me put it that way. I haven't, haven't had 20 in quite a while, I'm sure, so that's, that's counting me, of course, but uh, appreciate it, everybody that checked in. Um, this is N4NT closing the Bristol 2-meter net at uh, 9.27 p.m., and returning the W4UD repeater back to normal amateur use. 7-3 and good night.